guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you mounts one of the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Chord Progressions. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh, hey there, dude. I've never seen you work here before. You excuse me, you gotta be new, right? Uh hi, yeah, it's my first day. I'm Eddie, by the way. Eddie, cool! Hopefully I'll remember that. I'm Daryl. I... Ooh, excuse me. Good to meet you. You too. Oh god, what is going on with me? You from around here? No, actually, I just moved to Douglas last week from a little town up north. Nice, nice. Why choose Douglas, though? Well, it's all because of that one that one back there. I gestured to April, who at this point had a guitar in her paws and was displaying it to the gentleman on his birthday gift mission. Uh, she's dating my best friend. We moved here together so we can stay in April's apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah, April's been talking about you guys nonstop. Especially your friend, uh, what's her name? Uh, Mariah. Yeah, Mariah. April just talks about her all the time. Aw, does she really? Yo, yeah, last week April wouldn't shut up about how happy she was that you two are about you two arriving. Make sure you those two stay together. I've literally never seen April this happy. That's really sweet. How did you get to know April? I met her here a couple years ago, actually. She also drums for my band. Oh, okay. Your band's carcinogen, right? Yep. Wait. In Daryl's eyes, I saw even more stars appear than the moment when he got excited about his guitar. You've heard of us? Um, yeah, I heard of the band this morning while Pat was going over the lineup for the show tonight on Saturday. Show tonight on Saturday. His expression took an immediate 180. But he was excited to meet a fan. Poor guy. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, that makes sense. He pauses for a moment. So, anyway, I wanted to call April over here to see if I could take the pedal from another amp and plug it into the Varshal. He points to some sort of electronic no module on the floor. I've never seen this kind of device before. It's like something you activate by stepping on it, like an accelerator in a car. Hmm. Yes, yes, it's all coming together. I can deduce that this device is, in fact, a pedal. I have no idea how to answer this. How to answer his question. Uh, sorry, I don't know. I'll ask April when she has a second. Cool, cool. Uh-oh, the silence is getting awkward. Think of a topic. Think! Say, uh, what does that pedal do? It's a fuzz. I want to daisy chain it to the overdrive I have here. Oh, cool. What in the ever-living fuck does that mean? So, what do pedals do, like, in general? Oh, um, you work at a music store and you're asking me this? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Well, that backfired. Now he thinks I'm a moron. Well, I'm, uh, still learning. Hmm, everyone's got to start somewhere, I guess. Come up here and I'll show you how it works. It's super easy. He gave me a wide and genuine smile. I walked up the stage, sta stage stairs and met him, where he met him where he's sitting. With his foot, he taps the pedal on the floor that's wired to the amplifier he's using. Doing this turned the pedal's little, little, LED, little LED light off. So I just turned the pedal off. Now the, elect now the electrical signal from the guitar is going straight to the amp without any alterations, giving us a clean tone. Jesus. He strums a few chords. It didn't sound anywhere near as punchy or grindy as the noise that came out of the amp moments ago. Turn it on, you just step on it. He presses the pedal on his foot again. The LED light is now glowing. The pedal is now altering the electrical signal going to the amp, creating a new tone. And now it sounds like this. He strums more chords in a lace with single notes that he bends aggressively. The tone is now more gritty, punchy, and very much rock and roll. This little thing is neat. Wow, that's really cool. I always thought you needed a completely different amplifier if you wanted to make different notes like that. Nope, just a pedal, or a bunch of pedals. You can have as many as you want. Neat, you're also really good at playing, too, by the way. It's been nice hearing you jam while April and I are working. He darts his eyes for a moment before looking back up to me with a goofy and almost nervous grin. Oh, thanks. I'm not the best, though. I practice a lot, but there are so many people out there who can play circles around me. That might be true, but that doesn't take away from your talent. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I guess. Fuck, another awkward silence. Say something, Eddie! Say something! So, uh... Alright, I'm here now. What did you want, lion boy? Oh, thank God for April. She shows up with a guitar case and a paw. Oh, uh, what did I want? He throws his brow with his eyes closed, squinting tightly. He's thinking real hard about this, isn't he? Oh, shit, 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 I forgot! Well, in that case, I'll... Wait, Daryl, it was about using the other pedal, right? Yeah, I wanted to chain the fuzz pedal up here to the overdrive. Can I? Knock yourself out. Sweet, thanks, apes. 
Daryl stands up and very gingerly returns the guitar to its display case as he goes about his task of rearranging his pedal setup. Eddie, come on! Eddie, come with me! We're gonna ring up this customer! He's buying a render strap master! Oh! Coming! I join April back on the ground level to walk back to the counter. She gingerly, she gingerly places the instrument atop a guitar-shaped fabric carrying case situated on the counter. She scans the tag secured by a string attached to the... Headstock? That's what it's called, right? The part with the toony things? I have a lot to learn. Now, if you'd like, I can include a, a tuning pig win winder, a set of strings, and an electric tuner as a part of a bundle. Your son is going to need all these things eventually. She's trying to upsell here. Let's see if it pays off. Hmm. That sounds good to me. Whatever you think he's going to need. Of course. Give me, give me one moment. She steps away from her position to go retrieve the items. I'm alone with the customer. My retail senses are kicking in. I shouldn't let this customer just stand there awkwardly. I need to engage. This looks like a great guitar. I'm sure your son is going to love it. I hope so. April explained everything about it and why it'll be great for him as a beginner. I noticed this was an electric guitar, though. He needs an amplifier. Uh, does he already have an amp? Sure do. It's old, but in good shape. Been sitting in our basement for years. So, looks like we can't sell him an amp, but what about pedals? Like the one Daryl's using. Damn it. Mouse. There you go. Oh, does he have any pedals? Um, I don't think so. Not very sure what that is. Oh, it adds distortion to the guitar's sound. The gentleman on the stage is using a pedal right now. We both pause for a moment to listen to Daryl's playing. Oh yeah, it sounds pretty nice. If I get the pedal that line is using, will his guitar sound like that? That's probably a question April can answer can answer better. As if right on cue, she returned to the counter with the items in paw. April can better answer what? Hey, if we can get this gentleman the pedal Daryl is using, will his son's guitar sound like that? April put the sweetest customer service smile on her face. It'll sound quite similar. Your son will be using a different guitar and amp, but the distortion will have a similar effect. Yeah, yeah, I think he'll really like that. Can you get me one of those, too? Absolutely. April quickly ducks and retrieves a small box from the glass display case. It has an image of the familiar pedal printed on it. It's labeled as Overdrive. She scans the extra item she has collected. All right, your total is going to be three twenty four ninety four today. The customer, with no hesitation, gives her a credit card. She processes the transaction, then packs away the items into the fabric guitar-shaped bag for the customer. Here you go. Have a great day, sir, and wish your son a happy birthday for us. I sure will. Thank you two for your help today. I'll be coming back if he needs any more gear. The customer flashes us one last toothy grin before turning away from the counter. He waves as he exits the building. I'm gonna tell Chester to, Chester to give you credit for selling that pedal. Aw, oh, you don't have to do that. Nah, dude, you really upsold him there. Good job. The next hour was spent helping the occasional customer with small purchases. With each new customer, I learned something new about the instruments and their accessories. This process is all too familiar to me. I work at a new store. I have to quickly learn every detail about a bunch of products. Then I have to be able to sell them effectively. Just another Monday. Throughout the morning, Daryl kept jamming away. Guess he doesn't get bored of playing that one guitar. He's really fixated on that thing, isn't he? Before I knew it, it's 11 a.m. Before I knew it, 11 a.m. had struck. Pat appeared on cue and invited me to follow him to the cafe. Lunch rush must be starting. The colleague directs me behind the cafe's counter. All right, gonna make this real simple for you today so I don't overload your brain. Overload my brain? Are you the one struggling to organize my training itinerary? Have you ever bust before? Have I ever what now? Bust, like bussing tables? He makes a circular wiping gesture with his paw. Oh, like clean them and stuff? Yeah, after the customer leaves, you've got to clean up after them. Some are nice and use bus tubs on top of the trash cans to put their dirty dishes. Some don't. Overall, you just need to make sure the tables look nice and the bus tubs on the trash cans are empty. This wasn't what I was expecting to do today. I'm feeling a little blindsided by this new task. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, sure, uh, I can do that. We'll get you behind the counter at some point, but I just think it's best to stick with something simple today. He gives me a cheeky smile. I'm not a fan of my new task, but I'll do what I must to get a paycheck. Pat gives me, gives me an apron and shows me the closet where all the cleaning supplies are kept. He gave me he gave me the crash course on bussing tables in no time, and in no time we were ready to go. The pace was beginning to pick up and we were officially busy. 
Chester appeared to lend a helping paw, too. I found myself pacing around the dining room, or dining room and kitchen during the rush. The three men behind the counter are taking orders, preparing hot beverages and serving hot food. Glancing at the menu above the counter, it's kind of small. Only about a dozen food items and a dozen drinks as well. I remember reading somewhere that small menus can actually be a good thing. Restaurants that have a brief selection are liable to prepare higher quality food. The smaller the menu, the more time the chefs can focus on perfecting those few, few menu items. A common ingredient for the sandwich selections is bacon. My favorite. I find myself enjoying turkey in all its varieties, but the bacon is where it's at. Good lord, it's all I could smell the entire time I was wiping down those tables. This is where my stomach harshly protests my lack of breakfast. It doesn't help that this is hard work, too. I'm really working up an appetite here. There's so much pacing around. Trying to keep up with these customers is a challenge. The first few tables I cleared took some extra time. There was a little bit of a learning curve, and I was, but I was definitely getting the, getting the hang of it. I'd say I was a pro by the fifth or sixth table. Some customers were really nice and kept their tables reasonably spotless. Others were not as thoughtful and left their tables in shambles. I pressed on regardless. All this moving and lifting has given me a bit of a workout. Those bus tubs situated on by the trash cans are often overflowing with dishes by the time I get to them. They're not light by any means. Peak hour was right at noon. Everything was going at a busy but steady pace. All in all, this isn't the worst. Manual labor at least allows me to shut off my brain for a short time. I'm mostly ignored by all the customers, and that helps me keep on track. Helps keep me on track. About one, things started to die down a little bit. A lot of the customers who came in at noon were either sat at their tables or left with their go-to orders, or their to-go orders. I had a quiet moment, had a quick moment to catch my breath back in the kitchen. There's a window in the wall that separates the behind-the-counter space from the kitchen. I guess you can't technically call it a window. It doesn't have any glass. Just a spare, it's just a square-shaped hole in the wall. I can see the three men on the other side still catching up on their work. Chester catches a glance at me in the kitchen and puts and puts down what he's doing and makes his way over the, over the door that separates the two areas. He enters the kitchen and approaches me. Hey, bud, you did great out there. Thanks. I wasn't really expecting to do any to be doing any of this today. I know. I'm sorry. Usually, someone behind the counter handles busing. We just wanted to get you some exposure to how the cafe runs during lunch. I won't ask you to do this every day. Well, that's a relief. I don't, I didn't hate busing, but I think my talents are best used for other tasks. Things are slowing down now, though. Pat can take care of busing. Why don't you go on your break now? What about all these dirty dishes, though? Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of all that. Are you sure? I can stick around longer if needed. As if on cue, my stomach makes a wretched growling noise that was clearly audible to Chester. Oh, I'm definitely sure. Need to make sure you're fed and energized for overtime tonight. He lets out a hearty chuckle and offers me a wide grin. It's nice to have a boss who cares somewhat about my bodily needs. I wasn't always so lucky. Just try to be back in 45 minutes or so. There's a burrito joint across the street that you can try. If we aren't at the tail end of a rush, I'd offer you a hot sandwich that Dave can make. Sorry about that. That's okay. Burrito sounds really good, actually. Do I need to clock out or anything? No need for today. Just make sure you tell April you're heading out before you go. Sure thing. Thanks. Chester gives me a nod and turns back towards the door and heads back to the cafe counter. I follow behind shortly after. Heading back into the front of the house, I'm able to find April quickly. Hey, I'm heading on my lunch break. Uh, Chester wanted to t when Chester wanted me to tell you. I'm going to try that burrito place across the street. Great. Go ask Daryl to go with you. Um, well, I was just thinking I was going to go alone. Nuh-uh. You're new around here. You need to make some friends. Daryl's an okay dude. He needs, he kind of needs some new friends, too. You two should get to know each other. Aw, are you looking out for me, April? That's sweet of you. I taunted her in the most annoying and teasing tone I could muster. Oh my fucking god, I'm just trying to get you a social life so you're not hanging at the apartment all the time. Uh-huh, sure it is. I give her a smirk. I can see right through her. She can be a decent person sometimes. We seek out Daryl on the shop floor and find him still playing that same guitar. Hey, Daryl, you hungry? Daryl snapped out of his trance when he was addressed. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Where are we going? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier pa Ooh. Excuse me, patron, uh, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, if you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.